Hi friends, I am Jitendra. Today we will going to see a base 64 encoder and decoder transformer with mule USB. So base 64 is used to you know to encrypt or to decrypt your document document or to any string. It can also decrypt or it also convert the uh, string into the base 64 string using the base 64 encoder and we can again decrypt or we can decode using the base 64 decoder. So we will going to see that right the, right now. So let me open my AnyPoint Studio. I will say file new mule project. Okay, let's wait. It will open a new dialog for us. Okay, now I will give a project name. I will say base sixty four and code decode app. For runtime, I will keep it three point eight point three only. Okay, uh, you can. In your environment, there can be a multiple runtime. You can change depending on your requirement. Rest of the setting, I am not going to touch. I will say finish. Fine. Let me expand this. I will drag. I will look for HTTP listener. I will drag and drop HTTP listener in canvas. Let me configure the HTTP listener. Okay, go to HTTP. Add. Click on this add button. Keep all setting as a default setting. Press OK. So you can allow give a path. I will say encrypt. Here I will say post. Fine. Now if, if you you will not able to find your B64 component in your mule palette. So you can what you can do you can go to configuration XML. Okay. After HTTP, you can search for base, base enter. So you can see like base 64 decoder and encoder. So I will say base 64 encoder, and you can provide the name to encoder. I will give some name. I will say base 64 encoder, and you have to provide the encoding. Okay, I will say UTF-8. This is the setting you have to do. Now I will go back to my message flow. You can see it here, and I will say logger. I will drag and drop logger here. I will save the application. Now I will, I will start my application. I will run. First we will going to decode. Then we will see in much you know uh, expand expand way. Okay, the application has been deployed. So I will go here. I will see my body. Let me remove this. I will put some. Let me put some text instead of JSON. I will say text plain. I will say send. See, you can see the base 64 string. Fine. The, this message has been converted in this format. Okay. Let we we'll see in much much expand way now. Let me stop that. What I will do? I will use file connector. In the source region, I will remove HTTP. I will use file connector. Okay, I will remove this. Now I will use the file connector at outbound. Fine. So what I will do? I have to create some folders. So here I will do. I will say new. Under that I will create one more folder. I will say encoder. Finish. Under encoder I will create two more folder. I will say folder in. I will say finish. Let me delete this. Okay. Better. What I will do? I will create two folder only. Uh, I will create in folder. Finish. I will create uh, out folder. Finish. Right. Let me configure file connector. I will say src test. Resources slash in. I will copy this path. In output, I will give out. Okay. So these settings we have to do. Now let me run my application. Now I will show you what document I am going to, you know, encrypt. Let me open this. Okay. This is my document. So I am. I will be going to. Convert this into base 64. Okay. 
So let's wait while application has been deployed. Let me minimize it. Go to in folder. I will just copy this file into in folder. One minute, one minute. Okay. Okay, let refresh. The file has been picked up. Okay, it is out folder. So see, you can see. Let me open. I also open with text editor. See, your whole file has been converted into the base 64 string. See, fine. Now next thing, I will copy this file for. I will copy this file and I will paste it here. Now I will try to decode it. Let me remove from here. Okay. So for decode, what you have to do? Go to configuration XML. Instead of encoder, use decoder. Here again, I will use decoder. Save the application. Let's wait while application is deploying. Okay, application has been deployed. Now I will copy this file. I will paste it here. See, so this file has been picked up. I will say refresh. Okay, let me open with this time. Say system editor. Okay. See, now your file has been converted into a correct write format and require format from base 64 to the document again. I will show you one more example. So we will this time we will take Excel. Let me remove this. Let me remove this. Now again, instead of decoder, I will use encoder. I will save it. It will deploy the application for you. Let me. This is my Excel sheet. Now let me find out some better Excel sheet. Let me go. I want. I am looking for some. Yeah, I have this Excel sheet. Let me open this. This Excel sheet has three record. Okay. You can see name, destination, address. Now I will try to. Drag and drop into in folder. Okay. Let me refresh. It has been picked up. Let me open this file with text editor. See, your file has been again converted to base 64 string. Now, what I will do? I will copy this same file again. I will try to decode it. I will paste it here. Okay. I will remove this file right now. Okay. Now, instead of decode. Instead of encode, you can change it to decode. Okay, you just has to change it to and save it. Once you save it, it will deploy the application for you again. Okay, let me copy this file and paste it in folder. Let's check. Okay, the file has been picked up. Let me refresh it. I will say open with system editor. System editor means it will open with you know Excel, whatever software software available to open that Excel file. See now your file has been again back to the original format. Fine. So this is how you can use your base 64 encoder and decoder. Fine. So if you like my video, just subscribe to it. Thanks for watching it.